coin at mouse.x mouse.y here what will happen beam you will create all the objects in the containers and they will appear at the same place as the object one rule however that containers doesn't follow is the, the common property rule I, I should say they won't follow common property of an object what does that mean if this object for instance is a bullet let's make it a bullet mm, yeah. let's see what happens the the coin should go at uh, let's put a slower speed should go at 100 pixel per second this way to the right what happens is is going to the right no none of its container follows it so they are created exactly where the object were but nothing tells tell them to follow any other property of the object position scale rotation none of this is uh, by default something that is uh, done however you can do something like square set position to coin and text set position to coin this way everything will follow I create new ones everything follows and then just to show you what I meant if you do a right click on a coin so right click on a coin I, sh I can either add a cursor of object or just use on object clicked coin right click okay I will destroy the coin so here right click destroy right click destroy this one it destroys everything <coughs> and last uh, little thing yeah, I could uh, also do destroy square it will do the same thing Up, destroy destroy I could here create a square instead of a coin it will do exactly the same thing so yeah uh, for creation and destruction there are uh, consider you can consider the the object type in a container as only one object as far as creation as creation and destruction goes and as far as picking goes as well now you've seen picking works here but it's kind of uh, it follows the destruction rule so it's not really uh, what shows you picking what can show you picking is I have a value here um, <laughs> let me see the value it's a number and uh, on start of layout uh, no on creation I set the coin value to something random. Random between uh, 20 to 30, and I floor so I have a, a, a whole number, or a round rather. Okay. <coughs> Here, if there wasn't in a container, every coin would be picked and you would change the value of every coin let's show this value in the text box set text to coin dot value and y uh, since text is in container with coin the text will know which coin value to to print to display here zero okay you see it's working so here 
when I create the square, the square is picked. It's something that uh, al always happens with the creation uh, function. It's a special feature when you create an object. This object is by default picked, and even if you have uh, ah, if you have uh, tons of square picked from the event, when you create an object square, every other square will be discarded, and you will have this new square picked. So since you have this new square picked, its object in containers is also picked, and you can set its value. That's uh, that's the neat thing about uh, containers. Uh, what can you what can you do? You could do uh, something like uh, let's add another duplicate and set it to blue. Which one is to blue? The last one. And uh, mm, animation speed to zero. And you can do something like uh, if a coin value is greater than 25, which happens in a had the case by random, square set frame to 1. If there weren't in a containers, uh, every square will be switched to 1 if only one coin is over 25. But here, you can see it happens only for those who, who have a coin of value greater than 25. So you have this picking I was talking about. I picked some coin and I picked the respective square in the container. That's in a nutshell that all you, the feature you can get from a container. Before container existed, you could do something uh, close to this by using uh, something called uh, I, I call myself auto matching, which uh, usually you uh, and it's uh, it's uh, still works. I can make this exact same thing work without um, containers by using uh, some kind of auto matching. But I would have to create the three objects myself, destroy them myself check uh, the pairing via the instance ID, it's a bit more complicated. You would have to use some for each for this one, etc. So containers, uh, even if they aren't uh, necessarily, uh, uh, even if you could do the same thing, you, even if you can do the same thing without them, they're really um, help you to uh, to get rid of extra complicated stuff in your event sheet. Sometimes, however, containers isn't the solution because, as you can see, there's a constraint, uh, a kind of tight constraint between the two objects, is that, for instance, this object can't have <coughs> more than one. If you want to make a, a, a kind of car, for instance, you can you can't have uh, <coughs> a generic um, tire um, uh, a generic tire uh, um, object. <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> you can't have a generic tire object. You will either have to uh, give up on using uh, containers or you will have to create two uh, different tire sprites which have the same texture in, in them, the same image, and that's and will probably um, behave the same way. So then that's kind of a trade-off. What I would do uh, instead of using containers is uh, probably to keep in an instance variable the UID of the object they should follow and use this in uh, the event to uh, make uh, my tires follow uh, my car. <coughs> the, 
that and probably should also add a value to know if it's the front or rear tire, etc. So the container system doesn't answer every problem about associating objects together, but they, they are helpful for um, simple case. And we'll see this simple case in uh, in our platformer. Uh, so <coughs> let's see now. I will just uh, go back to what I had before to save it and give this to you. <coughs> save as okay containers. So now let's use containers for our platformer. Uh, so close, no, close uh, project uh, and open uh, should be here. And make a copy. <coughs> we'll call container. Okay, and uh, open. It, this is where we left off. We had a few uh, enemies. I will uh, get rid of them. You will on only see them in the uh, week three KPX, so it doesn't clutter our, our game. Everything else should stay. This one for debug when we need it. And uh, okay, let's go through the event sheet just to see exactly what we've done. We've done um, on start of layout. Uh, this is for debug. Let's. Uh, so we know the actual checkpoint number. Uh, we keep in memory where we started the level. We start each enemy in a random um, direction. We keep in memory the s the, s the start size of our um, HP bar. Is a sprite okay? <coughs> okay, okay. Uh, then uh, this is for the end of the level. Let's put this in a new group. End of level. It's where you will, uh, once we've done, we will probably make another level and uh, put it back uh, the change uh, of level uh, code. Uh, this one is the checkpoint system. Point. Okay, this one is the the dying uh, situation, dying event. Maybe I could put the checkpoint system here because the the group seems a bit long, seems a bit lonely in its group. Well, no, it's okay like this. Uh, death, death function. What happens when we die? What happens when we respawn? We play the animation. We ignore input, we unignore input, and we set back the, H the HP. Okay. Uh, mm. Seems wrong. HP equals zero. Oh, it's probably not working. <laughs> Let's see. Not a bad idea to go back to old stuff. Let's die. Oh, it's working. Mm, that's weird. HP, respawn, only happen when the thing is finished. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's exactly what I was saying on the previous video. Uh, this is probably triggers, triggered more than once, but uh, hopefully the animation uh, system is uh, is a uh, kind of state friendly. It doesn't trigger uh, each time. I, uh, it doesn't go back from the beginning each time I trigger the animation. So, but I don't quite like uh, this. So I will add a trigger once, which, ma which makes more sense here. Okay, so let's continue. Death spawn. Okay, uh, let's at least check uh, the death. We respawn, we respawn. Okay, 
Okay, animation that so we trigger this, then this happens. Once this is finished, this happens.